in order to add blog posts for this photos page, we're going to download a separate application that manages the photos on our hard drive. This is a free application provided by Google called Picasa. So I open up Google and I'm going to do a Google search for Picasa. And here's a link to Picasa. So I'm going to browse to this site. Click this big button, try Picasa now. And my computer is trying to block the download, so I'm going to click this bar up here and say download file. Alright, hit save. I'm going to save it to the desktop. So what this program does is manages all of the photos on your computer and it creates uh, kind of a library of all your pictures and helps you organize them and even like you know change the light settings and make them look better crop them you know stuff like that rotate and then it also has a tool that allows you to export the selected photos from the program directly into your blog so that's what we'll do in the next tutorial okay so here I've downloaded the installation program I'm gonna double click on it to run it It's starting up now. I'm going to hit agree. Install it in the default location. Okay, now my options. Shortcut on the desktop, that's fine. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, I don't, oh, that's okay. run it after we stop. Okay. So now it should open up. I think the first time you open it, if I remember right, yeah, it wants to completely scan your computer for pictures. I'm going to select only scan my documents, my pictures in the desktop. So now it's got this little scanner running right here, finding all of my pictures. So here's the folder, uh, the My Pictures folder. You can probably recognize some of these pictures in here. So here, uh, by checking on uh, these different folders, I get the different pictures. So here's a Web Files one. Um, go back up to My Pictures. And now I'm going to double click on one of these pictures, and it brings it up into an editor. And from here, I can I can crop the picture. Or I can um, change the contrast. I like clicking this I'm feeling lucky button because it tries to adjust all the settings for you. And it usually does a pretty good job. That picture didn't do too much to it, but it usually does a good job. So now I'm going to click this forward button. And you can see it's advancing to the next picture in the library. So if I click this back to library button, you can see I'm still in this folder and I'm just advancing through the pictures in this folder. Okay, and it's still scanning. So once it gets done scanning, it will have all of my pictures in it and any time that I hook up my digital camera to the computer, Picasa, as long as it's running, recognizes that the camera is there and it automatically downloads your pictures to your hard drive for you and indexes them. If you, if Picasa is turned off and you um, connect your digital camera and download your pictures to your hard drive, the next time you open Picasa, it will scan your hard drive and find the new pictures you want to add a new folder to Picasso's what Picasso looks at you can open up uh, the file import folder manager 
and then find the folder that that you're using and select scan always and that will make it so that Picasa always looks at that folder when you start it to see if there's new pictures there and then brings them in to this application.